according as they refuse to give absolution, providing the penitent is capable of it. Prophecy number 5, 6, and 7 are found in Revelation 17, 8, where it says, Behold the beast that was, and is not, and yet is. Prophecy declares here that this beast will be in power at one time, and then it will be inactive, and then it will come back to power. In other words, it will be a beast that was in power, is not in power, and yet is back in power. Does history confirm these three events took place with the Vatican? The Vatican became a church and state power when Vigilus ascended the papal chair under the military protection of Belsarius in the year 538 AD. The Vatican lost its church and state power when Napoleon sent in General Berthier in 1798 and abolished the papal government and established a secular one. Then on July 7, 1929, we read, This morning there was another sovereign independent state in the world. Premier Mussolini and Cardinal Gaspari signed the sovereign independent state of Vatican City into existence. The Vatican regained its church and state power. The prophecy was fulfilled. The Vatican was a power from 538 AD to 1798 AD. It was not a power from 1798 to 1929. Then as of July of 1929, we see it is a power once again. Prophecy number 8. Revelation 13 verses 5 and 7. State power was given unto him to continue forty and two months to make war with the saints. In prophecy, a day equals a year. A biblical month equals thirty days. This means forty-two months equals one thousand two hundred sixty years in prophecy. On March 12, 2000, Pope John Paul II admitted in a globally publicized mea culpa that the Vatican did in fact kill millions of people between the years 538 A.D. to 1798 A.D. Now just do the math. 1798 minus 538 equals 1,260 years that Rome was allowed to make war with the saints. For teaching faith contrary to the teaching of the Church of Rome, history records the martyrdom of more than 100 million people. Prophecy number 9. He, the beast, shall think to change times and laws. Daniel 7.25 Daniel says the Vatican will think to have the authority to change times and laws. Do they actually think this? The Pope has the power to change times, to abrogate or change laws. The Pope is of great authority and power that he can modify, explain, or interpret even divine laws. The Bible says, Remember that thou keep holy the Sabbath day. The Catholic Church says, No, by my divine power, I abolish the Sabbath day and command you to keep the first day of the week. And lo, the entire civilized world bows down in reverent obedience to the command of the Holy Catholic Church. Sunday is a Catholic institution, and its claim to observance can be defended only on Catholic principles. From beginning to end of Scripture, there is not a single passage that warrants the transfer of weekly public worship from the last day of the week to the first. Prophecy number 10. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth, in Revelation 17, 5. We learned earlier that a woman equals a church in prophecy. A harlot is indeed a woman, but an impure one because she commits spiritual adultery against Jesus, her bridegroom. Do all churches of the world commit adultery by doing as Mother Rome instructs them to? Rome declares, Had she not such power, she could not have done that which all modern religionists agree with her. She could not have substituted the observance of Sunday, the first day of the week, for the observance of Saturday, the seventh day of the week, a change of which there is no scriptural authority. The Pope was recognized as the overall authority in the Christian world by an Anglican and Roman Catholic commission yesterday, which described him as a gift to be received by all churches. If a new United Christian Church was created, it would be the Bishop of Rome who would exercise a universal primacy. The United Religions Initiative was signed on June 26, 2000. At the signing of that document, 
the Pope became the global moral authority to all Christian denominations on earth. The Vatican is now controlling the one world church that your church denomination actually has membership in. Prophecy 11. Revelation 17 12 says, Ten kings receive power as kings one hour with the beast. Prophecy predicts here that just before the end, the Roman Catholic Vatican will generate a global rule structure by separating the world into ten kingdoms. Have they done this? It has been reported that the club had its beginnings in April of 1968 when leaders from ten different countries gathered in Rome. The organization claims to have the solutions for world peace and prosperity. The Club of Rome has been charged with the task of overseeing the regionalization and unification of the entire world. The club's findings and recommendations are published from time to time in special highly confidential reports which are sent to the power elite to be implemented. On September 17th of 1973, the club released one such report, entitled, Regionalized and Adaptive Model of the Global World System. The document reveals that the club has divided the world into ten political economic regions, which it referred to as kingdoms. As of the last known meeting of the Club of Rome, the planet has been quietly divided into ten separate kingdoms. The Bible clearly says in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed. Today's society proves there has been a falling away from the faith in all walks of life. You can also see by this video that Antichrist has been revealed to God's people exactly as promised. Since Christian prophecy is so accurate, why do so many people ignore it? It has to do with a prophecy that Amos stated in Amos chapter 8, verse 11. If you would like more information on how to get ready for the second coming of Jesus Christ, or if you are already a believer who needs additional prophetic facts regarding the identity or plans of the Antichrist to share with others, feel free to contact this ministry. God bless.